So this is Richard. Hi. Hi. And our new app. So um, tell us a bit about yourself. Um, I'm 25. I was born in Panama City. Um, I'm pretty much from Tampa. Um, I'm a hairstylist and I've been managing hair salons for five years. So have you ever been outside of uh, Tampa? Yeah. Um, well, totally. we, we, um, Pensacola oh, for okay. about six months. Um, but I don't know. I was taking care of my dad at the time. Oh, okay. Traveled much? Not really. I've never been north of Lake Mississippi. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so hair manager? Mm-hmm. Have a hair license to cut hair oh, or yeah. just manage yourself? Oh, no. I have a cosmetology license, too. Oh, okay. From which school? Um, Remington College in Tampa. Oh, okay. So, I guess that's something you like doing? Oh, yeah. No, that's definitely my passion. Mm -hmm. Most because definitely. You're gay enough to be a hairstylist. Whatever. <laughs> Look at oh, you. my goodness. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Quite an interesting um, backstory about you ending up coming here. Tell us about it. Say that again? Quite an interesting story about you ending up coming here. Oh, goodness. Um, well, um, a friend of mine, well, I thought we were friends. That's kind of weird, I guess. I felt, I was told that we were boyfriends, which, yeah, after about three days of being together. Doesn't someone normally ask to be boyfriends one isn't usually told <laughs> that you're boyfriend. you would think so right <laughs> but i personally myself was told um and i told him about you know doing this and he actually suggested me applying to come here and then once i did of course he started talking trying to talk me out of it and then once i got here and I talked to Wes, and Wes convinced me, he's like, no, this is not a bad place to be, and it's not a bad thing. And he told me just to try it out for five days. And I came here, and I mean, the members are very supportive people. And, you know, I love it here. I mean, of course, you know, the guys are nice, Zach is awesome, and the members are very supportive, happy people who I can actually open up to and tell about the things that have happened in my life so what so what sort of things did you think it was going to be when you like were getting a word and thinking no oh, this wasn't well my friend <laughs> slash maybe boyfriend I'm not sure exactly um well he was kind of telling me that it was like a porn house and this that and the other and I was like I don't know about all that and, you know, of course, he was telling me, you know, I would have to do very, very dirty, nasty things on camera, and not really so much by option. And it just kept going on and on, and I was like, eh, I don't mm -hmm. know about this. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> then I talked to Wes on the phone, and... And how many dirty, nasty things have we made you do? Not a damn exactly. one. Exactly. <laughs> I may have done some dirty, nasty things. By yourself. But that's your own choice. Will. But that's your choice. Yes. <laughs> it's a, that's something that I chose to do. Exactly. That's it. CBL's about living your life. And we watch it. Now when you have a really bad day or you fuck up or something, we're still going to be there recording yeah. and broadcasting. <laughs> that's when it gets a little harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's but all I about... Mean, I think if I have a bad day that, you know... I mean, if the members want to know about my day, I can be honest and open mm -hmm. and say, yeah, I had a shitty day. Yeah. And it I think was... it's more when you do something stupid mm -hmm. yourself than, yeah, <laughs> the members let you know it was stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least they'll be honest and tell me. Yeah. Maybe give me some advice. Mm hmm So, so you've got a boyfriend... Supposedly. Um, so, so let's go. So let's go back to this boyfriend. So it's like you were told, and you were telling me over lunch that you don't really jump into relationships like no, that. No, so you know. I, so you feeling kind of trapped right now? Cause I wasn't you living with him? A little bit, yeah. And I mean, yeah. I Meaning a little bit trapped, not a little bit living. No, with. no, 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 a little <laughs> bit trapped, not. Um, living with, yes. Um, and trapped. Yeah, because, I mean, he's technically my boss at work, because... Oh, God. I am... So, hold on, this... So this guy who <laughs> told you his boyfriend, you're living with him and he's your boss. Yeah. 
Just put a cage around you now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a messed up situation. But, I mean, he got me the job, and, you know, me and Wes were kind of talking about that on how it seems like he's trying to find a way to cage me in, I guess. <laughs> and I guess he thought that, you know, giving me the idea to, you know, apply here that either I wasn't really going to do it or... <laughs> You know, that when I came here, I was going to be like, eh, no, never mind. But I'm with it, so. Um, so when was the last time you talked with him? Oh, about two days ago when he, yeah, when he left. Hmm. So what happens when, because I'm guessing he's going to call you today, tomorrow, and see how you're doing. Well, and when you say it, you're having a good time, what do you think he's going to say? Um, that I don't know. I know that he was mad that I stayed after the first night, so he did tell me not that he for me not to come to work. So he was mad that you stayed. Mm -hmm. Yet he was the one who told you to apply. I know I'm confused myself. Mm. So, but I don't know. I guess he really didn't think that I was gonna stay yeah. here. Yeah. But um, yeah. I mean, I you know I'm almost to the point where I want to do something to better myself in my life so mm -hmm. if telling the crazy man who's trying to trap me in and be my boss at the same time to f off then mm -hmm. well that's what has to be done right so it's getting like really dark the Every time you mention him it gets darker <laughs> are you sure you're not dating satan <laughs> it's like it's getting really dark right now oh my it's goodness like... <laughs> it actually did. Um, I just noticed that like twice. It's just... <laughs> uh -oh. The son doesn't like him either. Um, oh my goodness. So what else do you want to know? Well, so you've you've seen obviously a bit about what CBL is. If you were accepted, what would you try and do in the six months? Well, I mean, How would my... you use CBL to better yourself? My main thing is, um, you know, I've made some really messed up decisions in my life and I'm just trying to rebuild and better myself. And I know that in six months time, I mean, you know, I can find another salon to manage. I can get my driver's license back from the getting that stupid DUI thing. <laughs> and, you know, I can rebuild myself and rebuild my life. And then after six months is over, I mean, if I didn't decide to stay and you know move on with my life then I mean I would be to the point where I need to be to where I could be back on my own two feet again mm -hmm. and not have to depend on somebody trying to cage me in right. or you know I'll be able to depend on myself again yeah and you'd be able to get a relationship that you want mm -hmm. <laughs> and not and be able to actually have choices instead of you know having to be dependent on somebody who kind of traps you in whichever way they mm -hmm. can just to sort of keep you pretty much and yeah. I'm, I'm not a canary or a bird so <laughs> I mean I just don't I don't think that's fair and I want to be a better person I want to better my life so right. Good. Mm. so tell us about this DUI <laughs> oh god oh it was so bad it was so bad oh and I had dirt on my forehead um well see I was off work and I was at home and I was drinking and I was detailing the car and in the sun drinking detailing your car is probably not a good idea in the first place but after about six hours of completely detailing out I realized that the car my car had been on the entire time and I burned up most of my gas and so I went to go to the gas station next door to my apartment complex and well, on the way out of me turning out of the gas station, I kind of rear into Penske moving truck, totaled my car, and um, got a DUI with oh, a point two eight eight breathalyzer. So, thing. <laughs> well, at least I guess one thing, at least you could walk home. But, of course, you didn't get to go home, did you? No, I spent... I spent somewhere in between four, almost six months in the county jail because of the DUI. Ouch. Yeah. So I'm assuming that your apartment went bye-bye, your job went bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The salon I was managing in West Shore Plaza, yeah, they said they could hold it for me for a little bit, but they 
I couldn't guarantee anything. Cool. And after about two and a half months of me being away from my salon, my district manager said, um, yeah, you can reapply for it. You're rehirable, mm. but that's... Oh, cool. Yeah. Right. And she's understand. And then your apartment complex. Oh, yeah. No, no rent, weren't. no housey. <laughs> they weren't happy about that. So my family well, had to go and get my things and, hmm. you know, I... One stupid decision and... I know. Yeah. Not to mention you. Sure, this company probably wasn't... So oh, happy. yeah. No, Geico's pretty mad at me right now. Uh, they paid off my SUV and everything. Well, of course, yeah. But, yeah, I had just gotten it about three days before. So, I mean, the remainder that they had to pay was pro probably pretty high. Not to mention the truck mm -hmm. that you hit. Oh, there was no damage to the big Penske moving truck. Because oh. the, um, the big black bar that's on the back of mm -hmm. it um mm -hmm. yeah it was like almost level with right where my hood was so when i kind of slammed into the back of them it crunched up everything in my hood and it totaled my car out oh god you know so yeah. of course once you finally do get your license back and a car and you go for insurance uh, they probably won't like me too much or i won't like them i don't know which you won't like the, the monthly rates like they tell you Oh, that's what you're not going to like and that's when you're thing... spending like eight, nine hundred dollars a month on insurance. And I mean, that's one thing that I do want to do. I mean, hopefully, you know, I'm accepted here, but if I am, then I want to be able to pay off my fines mm -hmm. and I want to be able to get my license back because by that time I'll be able to right. and to start putting away money for a car again. Mm -hmm. and... So where are you at in the whole DUI process? Um, I'm still, I'm still sort of in the beginning stages, I guess. Um, it's, I came, I was released from the whole DUI thing, I guess, a month and some change ago. Okay. And so, I mean, I'm still in the first stages of, you know, getting through. Right, but have stuff. you been to court and got all your... Oh, yeah. So everything's done court-wise? Court-wise, okay. it's done. Now I just have to actually take care of... The fines and the probation the, the officers. 1600 right? and fines and stuff. I know. And Wait, I'm just going to cancel. I don't know. How okay. Works. And then you're. Uh... Set it down. <laughs> and then how many probation visits? Um, Once a month for 10 months mm. or until I pay off the fine first. Oh. <laughs> so they said once I do that, my course, the fine, and. Oh, the driver school, the fine, and community service, and I'm done. Wow. How many hours community service yet? Uh, 47. That's not bad. Mm -mm. Yeah, you can bash that out quick. <laughs> Got it. Okay. That's going to be interesting to see. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to tell the members? Um, I mean, they're going to be emailing me at the end of this five days telling me yes or no. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I hope y'all think that I'm a good fit here. I mean, I understand if you don't think so, I, I hope so. But um, I'll enjoy chatting with y'all, and um, y'all at least get to experience with me the next five days, and I hope that we get to share a journey together. So, and I hope all y'all the best, and to talk to y'all soon. Okay, thank you.